We have ourselves some uh, homemade cabbage. Hold on, child. This lash life is different. Gotta keep pushing them up. Welcome back to our channel, your girl Muriel, and today, <laughs> today, baby, we have ourselves some uh, homemade cabbage. Hold on, child, this lash life is different. Gotta keep pushing them up. So you know how it is when you wear glasses. But anyway, y'all saw how this was made. I. This is my go-to. I love making sausage and cabbage, but I typically have cornbread and I didn't make any today. So I don't know why I missed out on that, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking. And let's dig in it. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm th I'm, you know what, today, y'all need a bite. Homemade oh, goodness. Alright guys, here we go, here we go. First bite, first bite. So good. Talk about being salted perfectly. I wanted to get my reaction live, of course, of my first bite. without adjusting the salt or, you know, tasting it. I just want to get my live reaction, but baby, I just need some cornbread. Oh, Ooh, that's hot, excuse me. Perfect. Cook it to your desired tenderness. I typically like a slight crunch, but I overcooked it today because I put I was in the bathroom putting on my makeup while I was cooking down. So cook it to your desired tenderness. But this is delicious. Because you don't want any mushy cabbage. Been there before. I should have added some potatoes too. Oh! That would have been real country. Woo! And good. I've seen several videos where people add water. There's no need to that for that. There's no need. It makes so much water. 
There's no need to add any additional water. My sister and I love this. We love having like a sausage and like cabbage or just cabbage by itself as a meal. With just nothing but like cornbread with it. It's so good. Mmm. I'm gonna eat this whole bowl. And maybe some more. Mmm. <laughs> so good. So how are you guys doing today? It's been a long time, I know. It's been a long time. But I love it, baby. And it's not McDonald's, okay? Ba da ba 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 ba. <laughs> ba da ba ba ba. Mmm. Mm. It's actually pretty good with the turkey sausage. I did cheat. I added some bacon grease. But I really don't think it needed it. Because I didn't put a whole lot. I really feel like the, the juices from the, the turkey sausage would have been just fine. And it's simple and easy. Mmm. That is good. Give me a few more minutes. I'm going to take a few more bites. And then we'll talk, honey. We'll talk. Mm. 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 Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Hot. You've been on my channel a while, you know. I love to shred my cabbage. I'm gonna cut it up. I put it nice and shredded like lettuce, like shredded lettuce. But when it comes to greens, I love nice big pieces, you know. It's all about personal preference. Mmm. Mmm. Like garlic and onions and oh. And it's slightly um slightly spicy. Because I'm always heavy on pepper when I make cabbage. Always. Mmm. Mmm. A side dish that you can have as a meal. Perfect. Honey. Mm. Guys, lately I've been into fragrances. What are you, what are some of your favorite scents? I was always the type of woman who, when I wore perfume, I'd buy, you know, a perfume, usually something under $100, be like, you know, $80 or $70. Maybe at the most, like $120. And I wear it two to three years. Then I get rid of that and then I'll buy another one. That's how, that was always my thing. But baby, lately, 
it's just a whole world, a fragrance world. There are quite a few YouTube channels that I've, not quite a few, maybe about three, <laughs> just a few YouTube channels that I follow who give great um, fragrance reviews. I'm becoming what they call a frag head, okay? Love it. So, I love um, Valentino Born in Roma. I love PDM Delina. Um, what's it called? Perfumes de Marley. Um, <clears throat> I picked up a sample. I got it online. A sample of Oud Satin Mood by MFK Mason Francis Kirkjohn. Don't like it. Don't like. Don't, I'm not a fan of Oud. Um, what else? I love all the Donna um, Born in Roma. Um, scents. I love the whole line. It's about three fragrances, and I love them all. But the original is my favorite. Um, what else? Because for the long longest time, like lately, I've been, I was wearing Daisy by Mark, Mark Jacobs. And I didn't know, like, in the fragrance world, they're like, oh, I wore that in college. Oh, I wore that, you know, right out of high school. Like, oops. <laughs> like, oops. Like, I, I didn't know, you know. It just smelled good to me. What else? Um, I'm getting a sample box of... like of um, Tom Ford, his fragrances. And I didn't know this, but all his fragrances are unisex. Which I didn't know. Mm, who knows? Like I'm just getting started. It's been probably a month or so. So I've purchased maybe like four. I purchased Gucci, um, Dolce, but it was just too it was just too watered down. I mean, the fragrance world, there's this lingo, you know, longevity, projection. Um, is it a compliment getter? Mood. You know, it's just this whole world. <laughs> I was like, wow. Now when I wear my perfumes, I'm like, I get excited when somebody's like, ooh, you smell good. That's like... <laughs> A wonderful compliment for me. So I'm really into to fragrances now. And they are pricey. Because the ones that I really want have that $300, $400 price tag. I know. Because you know I'm a high heel lover. I love a shoe, but you can get away with a shoe. A nice shoe. You know, for like forty dollars, forty five. You know, but on average, I, I would spend about one ten, one twenty on sh on a one pair of shoes. That's like my my normal for a pair of high heels. This fragrance world, ooh, in the line of um, ooh, of um, bond number nine, New York. Ooh, yeah, that smells so good. That Madison Avenue. Pretty girl smell, child. Love it. I'm obsessed with that one. And perfumes. And Delina by um, PDM. Oh, wonderful. Anyway, I'm going to go on and on about that. So, I'm going to cut it here. So, if you are new to the channel, baby. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for being a part of the fam. As always, I greatly appreciate all of you. God bless you. I'll see you on my next video. Peace.